This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. So during these uh, 10 days that you're going to be out there, there is no pay because you will just be uh, learning and training in the trucks, okay? So once you finish, you are going to go over the road with a mentor. That's going to take like around two to three weeks so that you can get experience. And while you're with the mentor, you'll be making $784 a week, okay? 784 And after that, you will start working. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at CR England CDL training school out of three locations that I can't remember off the top of my head. But I know one of them is not Ohio or Kentucky, for that matter. He did say that they're not taking drivers out of those areas. Also, as we was talking, I'm not even sure if they're taking drivers, period. Or was that the other company? Don't know, but let's find out. A buddy of mine uh -huh. kind of suggested me to give you guys a call. So is it all right that I find out a little bit yeah. more, a uh, little bit more information about what I need to, you know, to start to get my CDLs with you guys? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let me explain you. And where, where are you located at? I'm out of Ohio. So let, let me ask you this. Since I'm out of Ohio, where, where would I go for my CDL training? Okay. Oh, so you're in Ohio. So look, we actually don't have any, like, availability in the state of Ohio, you know? Uh, and I guess your driver's license is from Ohio as well, right? Well, yeah, my, oh, yeah, my, yeah, well, my, yeah, both, my, yeah. mine's from Ohio and, and my buddy's from Georgia. Mm. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, what happens is that in order for us to bring you on board, we need to have a dedicated position, like, um, available, you know? Um, so that way, whenever you finish classes, you will get hired right away. But right now in Ohio, we don't have no positions at all. So we wouldn't be able to bring you on board. But um, can, can, can I still I mean, get, we can, can, can I still get some information just in case my situation will yeah, change sure. in the future? Oh, OK. OK. Yeah, so, yeah. so if well, we already know that you're, you're you're not doing me out of Ohio, but. What if you was doing me out of other states? Where where would we have to come to uh to go for CDL training? So look, our school is located in Utah. Okay, in Salt Lake City, Utah. It will only take um ten days, Monday through Sunday. And we provide transportation for you to go from your city all the way to uh, to the school. And we also cover your entire housing, you know? So the only thing that you will have to uh, take care of, it's bringing enough money for your meals and your personal expenses. So, I mean, I don't know if that is something you might be, like, able to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm able to do that. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm working now. So, <laughs> so what I, yeah. so, um, so I will have to, you, you said you'll cover my travel, so... How would I get to you? Uh, how would I get to Salt Lake City, Utah? You, plane, well, train, train. That's going to be a no. That's going to be a, a Greyhound ticket. Greyhound. Ugh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, let me ask you this: If I decide to, let's say, if I decide to drive there, would you guys cover for my for my rental? Would that be possible? Well, not for a rental, but I mean, if you would like to drive, um, we can just reimburse you up to a hundred dollars on gas. You know. Oh, okay. Of course, with the receipt on hand. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So let me ask. Let me ask you this: uh, Do would I receive any kind of uh, pay uh, doing my CDL training there? Would I? Would I get you know no. paid for going to school through you guys? No. So look, during these uh, ten days that you're going to be out there, there is no pay because you will just be uh, learning and training in the trucks, okay? So once you finish, you are going to go over the road with a mentor. That's going to take like around two to three weeks so that you can get experience. And while you're with the mentor, you'll be making $784 a week, okay? 784 And after that, you will start working by yourself. Oh, okay. okay look, so that's so I'll go so, out with a mentor. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, uh -huh. uh, I, I'll go out with a mentor. After I get my CDL, pretty much, right? 
Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, okay. So after I after I train out for my CDL, I will go uh go out with you guys, uh go out with a mentor. Now let me ask you this. You say the training for my CDL would, would only be ten days? Like what's what's yeah, correct. This sounds accelerated. So what 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 would all be learned? What would all what all that entails? Well, everything is going to be at the school, you know, and before you can even start classes out there, you need to have a DOT physical and a permit, okay, so that you can get started. And that's why, it, I mean, the school, it, it, it takes only 10 days, you know. And remember that the position that you'll be getting into after the, the, the mentoring and, and the schooling is going to be over the road, okay? And that means that you will be driving all across the country um, three to four weeks at a time, going back home three to four days. Uh, this is uh, no tow freight, and you will be getting paid over a thousand dollars a week, up to eleven hundred, twelve hundred. Okay. Always, of course, depending on your performance. Now, all you know, and all of this is after I get my C af after I get my CDL through you guys. Yeah, right. Okay, okay. Now let me ask you this. Um, what would be the now? I know. Uh, I, I I meant to ask: Is there any type of contract that I that I have to sign with you guys, like a non compete contract or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Uh huh. That is correct. So you will have a one year commitment, okay? And the whole reason is that you don't have to pay anything out of pocket, okay? So once you start working with the company, uh, we are going to be making a small deductions on your paychecks. So at the end of the contract, you. Uh, you would have only paid like a minimum part of it, and the remaining balance will be covered by us. Oh, I don't know if that makes sense. To you. Okay, okay, okay. Now let me ask you this: uh, What will happen if I don't pass for my CDLs, uh, hypothetically? And let's say if uh, I break the contract, like if you know I quit or or get fired well, or something I like mean, that. Am I? That how, case, how much is the school? Um, how much is yeah, I'm responsible Yeah, so in that for? case, you will have to cover the whole amount of the tuition with interest, okay? The whole amount Ooh. is almost $6,000 okay. with an 18% rate. Ooh, yeah. 18%? Yeah. Jesus. Ooh. How, how, many, how, how many opportunities do I get uh, to get my, uh, to pass for my CDLs? <laughs> And what I and, and you, would I be and would I be able to train out in a manual? No, all of the trucks that we use are automatics, and you have three chances for you to pass the road test. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Um, what you say they're all automatics. That means my license will be restricted, then, right? Yeah. Right. Do Do you guys offer any type of opportunities to train out in the manual, or no? No, 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 because we don't have no manuals right now. Okay. All of them are automatic. You don't even use it. You won't use it. I mean, it's going to be a one-year contract working with automatic trucks. Okay, okay. You know? All right, cool. All right, so if my situation should change in the future, uh, what I what I should do, just just give you a call back and be like, hey, you know, well, let me ask you this before I even say my situation. What areas are yeah. you guys hiring out of for the CDL? Like, what, what areas... You know, because you kind of hesitated well, in Georgia. In Indiana, we have in Indiana, in Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Colorado, Iowa, Ohio, no, Kentucky either. I mean, there's nothing there. Oh well, Tennessee. Well, I'm not that no, far from Indiana. Well. I'm right across. I'm I'm right across the border on Indiana. I mean, okay. What happens is that you need to have. Well, first you need to switch the driver's license that you currently have. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. From Ohio to to Indiana, and also you need to have proof of address. You know that oh. you have been living there. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So those those uh, areas that you mentioned are the areas that you guys are taking uh, taking for schooling for for drivers that don't yeah, right. have seat. But what? Okay, let me switch gears on you for a second. Uh, what about drivers that do have CDLs? Because you know, I, you know, my cousin, he got his CDL maybe about a month ago, and all like that, and he's from Ohio. So would he be okay to apply with you guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, it depends. If we have availability out there for experienced drivers, yeah, 
but he will have to close the weekend uh, right. check on that because, well, uh, he needs to be transferred to another department. Right, right. Okay. Well, hey, listen, man, thank you very much for your time, man. I really do appreciate it. Uh, again, like I said, I'm just doing this. I'm taking voice notes and everything, and I'm just doing my research for me and my buddy because, you know, we're we're interested in getting our license, but we're trying to figure out the best course of action for us to get it. You know what I'm saying? So thank you very thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Hey, you too now. Thank you. Bye bye. C R England, everybody. Well, there you have it. There you have it. First up, let me just say they only taking people that's in certain areas. Uh, if you want to go and get your training through CR England, um, they have from what I've seen on the website, they they got like four places that they do training out of. He mentioned Indiana, of course, Salt Lake City, Utah. And two other spots that that they're taking, you know, you guys for uh, for CDL training. Now, unfortunately for people like me in Ohio, um, Kentucky, probably any other states that's not the states that I mentioned, he did mention the fact that you have to go and change your license over to that state and you have to show proof of residency. So if you're living with your grandma, buddy, you know, cat, dog, you got to show proof of residence. 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 Damn. Residence. I still can't get it right. It won't come out my mouth. Residents in those states. <laughs> um, he said that you don't get paid for the school. The school itself is 10 days from the time you get there. Like 10 days. So already you know this is going to be accelerated. Like I'm not sure what all you can learn in 10 days. They're going to cram so much stuff on you in 10 days. Is that good, though? Like, hey, the first week you're going to be in the classroom, we're going to cram all that stuff in your head. And then the next week we're going to cram all the, the pre-trip and the, and, and the post-trip and the, and the driving and the, and the coupling and the backing, is that enough time? And then you get three tries for your license. Um, I didn't get it. What I think I did ask him, uh, if you don't, let's just say hypothetically speaking, if you don't get your CDL, would you still be responsible? And he said, yeah. Yeah, you, you will still be responsible for that $6,000 plus 18% interest. So, so, yeah, that part. Another part is, of course, they don't train out in a manual. So your license, unfortunately, will be restricted. Uh, if you do leave the company before the contract is up, you will still be responsible for the amount owed for the school. If you do continue the contract, you will pay a little bit and CR England will cover the rest. So, guys, let me know. What do you think? What do you think? Do you first thing first, you have to live in those areas. OK. You have to live in those areas in order for CR England to, you know, have you come on in. Now, they will get you up. Now, if you from other areas that they do, uh, you know, that they do work with you on, they will bring you up there by bus. But 
If you rent the car on your own, they'll cover you for the gas. I think it's only up to $100. But if you're going up to Salt Lake City, Utah, just know that you're going to hit the you're going to get that hit that hit the gas pumps at least two or three times. So I'm I'm just saying I'm just saying. So again, if CR England, the description, I mean, everything that you need to know will be in the description below. If anybody went through CR England school, let us know how it was for you. Now, I know a few of you guys that went through the school. Y'all got y'all, y'all got y'all CDL. I know one of you guys told me, hey, they give the CDLs to anybody. <laughs> if that's the case, <laughs> go get it. I'm just saying. But um, if you do get your CDLs or if you got your CDLs through CR England, let us know in the comments below how the process was. All right, that's it. You guys take it easy. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? next.